Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you are watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll be talk talking about 5 ridiculous thoughts that stopping you from starting your own YouTube channel. I'm in uh, downtown Toronto, it's a uh, very nice weather. Uh, weather uh, the Temperature is 25 uh, degrees Celsius and almost there is no wind and I'm in this park right now. So today I'll talk about these five points that may be prohibiting uh, you or maybe uh, making you not to set up your or start your own YouTube channel. So the first one is uh, I look horrible. So this is the first thing comes to everyone's minds when, uh, whenever you're trying to start up or start a new YouTube channel that uh, you don't have the looks or you don't look like a model. Now, it is somewhat true that if you are a model looking, it might help a little bit, but at the end, it's not just the looks that uh, make up a successful YouTube channel. You need more than that. Uh, you need uh, content and you need what you uh, are going to present to your uh, subscribers or the audience and you need to be entertaining and you need to provide value. Now if you go through the top channels and most of the times or uh, most of the times you'll find that uh, most of them are not model looking. However, uh, people are still watching them because of the value and their personality and the content they're providing. So you don't have to be a model looking person to start up your own YouTube channel. The way you look is just fine. So you have to come up, come out of that mindset and although being beautiful or very good looking or handsome might help you in the end a little bit, but if you're not able to provide the value then it will not take you that far so it doesn't matter how you look or whether you are uh, good looking or bad looking uh, as long as you're providing value and uh, you are providing content your audience will like you based on your personality and what you're giving them so I look horrible this is not there shouldn't be any uh, thing that would stop you from starting your own YouTube channel now the second thing I'd like to talk about is that I have terrible voice. So most of the time or 
I would say 99, 90% of people think that they have the worst voice on art. And this is due to the fact that whenever you're hearing your voice and whenever someone else is hearing your voice, these two are totally different things. You are hearing your voice through your own ear and your ear is set in your own head and where it's being processed out of your system and your ear is listening to something very different than other people are listening. So we all think that we sound bad, however, it is not true. So having a terrible voice is not a factor not to set up your YouTube channel and you can do better with any kind of voice. It does not matter as long as you are true to yourself and you have the passion and you'd like to share something with the world, then you'll be just fine with regardless what type of voice you have. Some of you may have good voice, some of you may have bad voice, but in the end it doesn't matter. So the voice you have is just fine and that shouldn't stop you from starting your own, tube, own uh, YouTube channel. Number three, I have nothing to say. We all think that we have nothing to say, but if you uh, go through the YouTube uh, videos and channels, then you'll find out that uh, people are putting in their own life story, own uh, experiences, and own suggestions, and something that would help you. So you do have something to say. It's all a matter of finding what you are going to say. If you are in good at uh, telling stories, or if you are good at something uh, how to do, or if you are good at providing uh, travel stories, so anything you provide is going to be okay as long as you can make that happen and you can make uh, people listen to it because you're providing value and you're providing something unique and you're providing with your presentation. So we do have something to say. It's all matters as long as you find what you are good at and what you're going to say. So that shouldn't stop you from starting your own tube channel. The fourth thing people uh, use as an excuse not to start a YouTube channel is that I'm not comfortable in front of camera. Although this is somewhat true that we are, not, uh, we are all not comfortable in front of camera in the beginning. If you watch my own uh, videos which are old, you'll see that I was not comfortable. Or if you find someone who has lots of subscribers and who is very popular, and if you go back to the first videos, then you will see that uh, the same persons were not comfortable in the beginning. However, the more you keep putting in content and you keep doing video, the better you will become in front of camera and you will become comfortable. So it's just a matter of practice and uh, giving more time to getting adjusted to yourself, talking to yourself, and once you know that you have had some experiences then it will come to you naturally that you will be comfortable in front of camera. So I'm not comfortable in front of camera shouldn't be an excuse not to start your own YouTube channel. And the fifth idea we have uh, which prohibits us from starting our own YouTube channel is that no one is going to watch me. This is this can be true when you start a new channel for the first few uh, months or even the, for the first uh, year or first few days. You'll find difficult uh, to get enough uh, audience or viewers for your uh, videos. However, it all depends uh, what you're providing them. Only There are only two reasons people watch uh, videos or watch anything on YouTube. The first one is you're providing them value and the second one is you're providing them entertainment. So anything you watch, whether there can be so many variety of videos, you can break it down to these two basic things that either it's providing value or it's, or it's providing entertainment. So as long as you're providing something 
people will start watching your videos and people will start uh, subscribing to your channel so it all depends on what you're providing them and we all have something to provide although we don't know we have all have some uh, experience content or some knowledge or some travel stories that others are waiting to hear and if you keep providing them people will watch your video so if you have this idea or if you have this thought that no one will watch you this is not true all you have to do is bring up bring out your passion and keep making videos and keep providing content or entertainment and people will, will watch you so these are the mo uh, main five things that usually make people not to start their own youtube channel and i hope that uh, you'll find this video helpful and after watching this video you'll be able to start up your own youtube channel thank you for watching